Hey everybody, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. I'm going to do the walkthrough for our Tuesday, May 10th, Decorative Arts Auction. The sale features about 480 lots, and it has furniture, it has Chinese porcelains, about 100 lots of Chinese porcelains, it has Art Nouveau furniture, which we'll get to a little bit further in the back. It also has a great collection from Matthew Siegel of uh, artwork and paintings. And we'll look through those real quick. So let's get started uh, with the walkthrough. I'm going to just do a quick pan of everything in the sale so you can see what's here. And then I'll go and look individually at the items. You can see the showcases are full. Preview for this auction is on Monday, May 9th. And uh, bidding is available on our website, uniquesandantiques.com. It's also available on Live Auctioneers and Invaluable. Here is some of the nicer items, the Art Nouveau furniture, the uh, nice carved tables, great marble tops, great Marjorelle furniture, good mirror right there, Louis Marjorelle. All right, let me go and walk the back room this way. So all of the furniture down this aisle right here along that wall as well as this wall of furniture. Everything from dining furniture, nightstands, carved, inlaid furniture. That's a Steinway, the, the piano people, grandfather clock. And let me walk down this one aisle right here. So starting at 10 a.m. on May 10th, 2022, is the items we have in this auction. Let me get to the beginning and we can see what we have. Great collection here from um, a consigner in Maryland of the first, let's say, 100 lots in the auction are all collected by an American diplomat during the 1960s in China, Asia, Japan, Thailand, Korea. So that's where they were stationed and they collected all of these pots. So they're all at least from the 1960s and a lot of them are from the 500 years before that. There's Ming Dynasty and uh, a lot of the earlier Japanese stuff. So then we get up to about lot 100. You have these nice bra bronze vases. In the back is earlier in the sale in the lot, in the lot 80s or so. Let me jump over this direction. We have some great Art Nouveau glassware. You have everything from Tiffany to Dom. This is a set of Tiffany right here, signed Tiffany. Some old glass over here into the lot 100s. And about 140 or so is where the paintings from Matthew Siegel starts, and a lot of his paintings are of workmen, they're of factories, they're parts being fixed. In the 140s, we also have some more of the Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau vases, statues, candelabras, lots of colorful, fancy vases. There's a great little fish set with this inlaid box right here, lot number 198. So let's take a look at some of the artwork. Uh, all these items are cataloged. So you can see you have the uh, WPA style painting, that's a Philip Lyford. You have this one right here that's kind of a, a welder. This one here is the uh, kind of the steel, pouring the steel mill out. And then you have this one, which is like a group of workers or profiles. Here's a nice one, everybody working on the turbine there. It's an original sketch. Back here, you also have some like dam pictures. One of these was a pretty nice one. I thought it was a unusual thing to have an oil painting of. It's the, the large kind of digger backhoe right there. And you have a, a train tunnel. This one is a dam. Back here you have kind of a, I guess a refinery. 
There's like a bridge or a processing factory. Here's a good locomotive. And this is just a handful of them. There's about, about 85, 90 of the paintings. You have the good George Bellows attribution. They have other paintings on sport, football, track, the Olympics, Muhammad Ali from Sports Illustrated. You have this one, good early football. Looks like a Green Bay game. This one is very cool, a boxing. Let me back up a little bit this way. You have some more of the Chinese. Here's some more of the paintings in here. You have kind of the mess hall. These paintings are a lot easier to see in the catalog. You have good overpasses and refineries again. Look at this large painting over here. Very large. All right, let me back up a little bit. So the paintings are kind of interspersed through this, through the auction, maybe 10, 20 at a time. Uh, but you can see the quality and they're all kind of curated. This one is uh, you know, a very interesting one. He's got the model airplane, but then he's looking out at the skies. This one is a gusher. It's kind of impressionist. Has a great sense of motion. There's Winston Churchill painting. 386, 387 is what we're looking at here. There's 384. Back in the back, there's some Trump Lowell. Lot number 398. There's some more sports. You got uh, Rudyard Kipling, Babe Ruth. You have Thomas Edison. Good impressionist. This one is a pretty cool one right here of the kind of the waiting room. There's a uh, kind of an iCart style monkey picture. And right, then we come around this way. All these items are going to sell to the highest bidder at the auction on May 10th. And they, we sell about 40, 50 lots an hour. So about 480 lots is going to take us a good 10 hours to sell. So we'll be here from 10 a.m. until probably at least 8, 9 o'clock at night. Shout out to Chris, my son, who's graduating Northeastern this week. We're going to be heading up there on Wednesday, but we'll be open for your pickups on Wednesday also. So set your appointments and come get this stuff out of here so we can get the items out of the way for our modern design auction, which is kind of in that room. That's going to be on June 14th, 15th, maybe 16th. All right, so let me walk down this aisle right here. You have some great cabinets with the claw feet. There's some very good mahogany, banded dining table. Good chairs by uh, Kindle. This is a Handel lamp. Here's a shot down from the top. The shade is signed Handel. The base, we could not find a signature on, so the base is likely not Handel, but it fits. And that's how we got it out of the estate. Look at these great carved tables. Some good Asian furniture right here with the drop down. Oh, the sides come in. Look at that. This one is by Council Craftsman. Very nice little bachelor's chest. More kind of Korean or Japanese furniture. Cellaret. This is signed stickly on the oak table. Comes with three nice leaves. Lot 380 and 381 are these two workout units right here, the ellipticals and the recumbent elliptical. <clears throat> pair of these Victorian tables on top. There's a couple of uh, little pedestals. This is an earlier mirror. Let me peek.
peek under here. And back around this way. All right, so I think we've seen almost everything in the room. I'm gonna walk over into the lobby. See some nice items. There's a great mirror in the back here. Nice pedestals. Here's some good inlaid furniture. A little country French cabinet. Back to the Marjorelle, which we already looked at a little bit earlier, but I'm going to do another once over. You can see the top on it. Amazing inlay. And then what I love about it is look at these uh, legs right here. They kind of twist. The carving twists around. Here's another inlaid panel here. And then also lily pads, etc. on the bottom. This is the kind of furniture you see in the Art Nouveau museums. Signed El Marjorelle. Here's another chair right here. This is not signed, but it's of the Marjorelle style. It has the similar legs. See how the legs go, kind of starts in the front and then ends up on the side. So there's that one. Now we have three sets of two on these chairs. Art Nouveau, Age. You don't find one or two of these, much less six total. We're selling them in pairs of two. Here's a nice Art Nouveau mirror back here. Great style with that big swooping carved piece there. This is an amazing marble statue. Franklin and his whistle. The artist is Pasquale Romanelli. Pasquale Romanelli. So that's a nice marble statue there. I'm going to zoom in on his face. And that's the original pedestal for it. Let me come around here. You can see down at the bottom it's inscribed Franklin and his whistle and it's signed on the back side. Around this direction, this is a Sideboard by Henredon. There's a very nice, here's two more of those uh, chairs, but there's a very nice bedroom set back here. It's all inlaid. It has a matching low chest, which is back there. Here's a very nice bamboo, kind of secessionist or Victorian style with all the uh, Asian enamel work. Come around back this way. All right, that's about it. Good mirror on the wall there. All right, so take a look at our website for bidding, uniquesandantiques.com. Take a look at live auctioneers. See all the items that we glazed over. Here's a little bit more here. Curiosity shop, that's from Dickens. Look at this one. All right, so thanks for watching. This has been Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. We'll see you at the auction. Bye-bye.